Guys, this is not your typical camera review video. Today we're looking at Anwa latest release. I'm talking about the TNO C3012 TRA. I remember that because it's such a great camera. We have it right here. It is an AI-based thermal radiometric camera. Don't worry, it's complicated, but we'll get through every details of it. If you've never saw one before, it's not your typical one. This one is 40% smaller than regular thermal radiometric camera. So you can install it in narrow places. And with its AI, well, don't worry just about the thermal aspect of it because now you're able to set up motion detection, person detection, vehicle detection, and much more. But before we dive in, let's explain what is a thermal camera, what is a radiometric camera, and why combining both is such a great application. Let's get to it. All right, when we talk about thermal cameras, what does that mean? So a thermal camera actually reads the heat radiation from an image. So it doesn't need any visible lights to create a picture. And I'm sure everyone saw that picture before. So when we look at a person through thermal camera, you have this yellow, orange, red light on the person. And when you look at the walls next to them, it's most likely blue. Uh, you have some purple color, some teal. So it exactly does what I just said. So from the red and yellow color, it emits the heat. So the more you have bright colors like this, the more hot is the color. But when you go into cool color, well, that's the contrast of the camera. And why it's so great to have a thermal camera like this one is because it works through any kind of situation. So if you have low visibility through smoke, fog or total darkness, you will always be able to have an image in front of you. So it's great for security purposes. If you have a factory with a huge field and lots of objects that can obstruct your way, well, through a thermal camera, you're always able to see that heat radiation from a person or a vehicle. So you see the bright red light on your screen so you know something is happening. So it's a great tool again for security purposes and to monitor different situations. Now, when we're talking about radiometric cameras, well, they're not as common in the security world. So it's okay if you've never heard about them. They're mostly used as scientific tool to measure the electromagnetic radiation from any surface. So when you think about it, and it's a big word to basically say invisible energy. In that case, we're talking about heat. So in your image, each pixel has a temperature. So when you look at an image from a radiometric camera, you can pinpoint the temperature of each single pixel on your screen. So it's ideal to monitor, let's say if you're looking at an industrial application that needs gas or oil, well, you need to maintain a certain threshold of temperature or else there could be damage or there could be conditions that cause problems for people that are uh, on the field. So when you combine this precise technology that enables you to measure the temperature of what you see on your image with a thermal camera, it means that you can see anything. So again, through smoke, fog, darkness, but you're able to calculate the temperature of what you are seeing. And if we mentioned the AI too, that's just an add-on that you have on this camera that others don't. It's because if an accident happened, for, for example, and again, knock on one, it's not gonna do it. But if there's a fire or smoke, you're still able to see the people if there's still people in your manufacture. So through that, you're able to maintain a security for the people and also for your equipment at all time. Now that you know all about thermal and radiometric technology, what about the TNO C3012 TRA? So this camera right here has a 4.4 millimeter lens and on the back box itself, you have here the reset button for your camera. So this is where you need to reset if you forgot the password, for example. You do need to unscrew this part to access this part. You also have a USB slot to use for connection. Now, we want to access how to connect the PoE and also where is the micro SD card stuck because that's a big factor for this camera. The micro SD card can pack up up to one terabyte of storage. This is incredible for internal storage. So let's see where it is. All right, you have three screws to remove to access the inside of the camera. Everything is written inside the user manual or the specification sheet to understand which screwdriver you need to unscrew these. 
But remember, there's also a small sticker that I will show you in a second that actually tells you uh, what you need to move around the camera. So when these shoes are removed, and I'll show you right here. So they tell you which model you need to move this screw so you're able to move around the camera up and down. But now if we open the camera up, as I was telling to you before, here you have your connection for your PoE port. And right here, you have your micro SD card slot to connect the internal storage. And at the same place, you have your audio in and out. You have your alarm in and out. So everything is packed inside the camera. Really easy to see and really easy to use. But now let's talk about the most important things. So we talked about temperature, right? So the temperature range of this camera is quite incredible. We're talking minus 40 degrees Celsius all up to 550 and i made a mis mistake in a previous video but 550 celsius i'm pretty sure that's 1022 fahrenheit so you can have a wide range of calculation for you to monitor any site and while we're on the subject of special features let's talk about the ai it's packing i mentioned person vehicle line crossing but you have a much more that are inside the camera that you can access through the web viewer so that's where we're going right now to show you everything there is to know about this camera. All right, as you can see here, I put on my glasses because I mean serious business. And when we're looking at the screen, you can see that I'm feeling quite hot today. I have my red skin going on. And what you can do inside the web viewer, so inside the camera, when you go inside the live view, you can actually click on the screen. So if I click here, you can see that I'm a hot, 33.7 degrees Celsius right now. But I mentioned we'll go inside the settings. Again, we won't go through everything, but just the necessary for you to understand how this works. And a good start would be the video settings because here you have the temperature setup. Right now we are set up with the rainbow colors, but you have a whole color palette that is uh, enabled for you. Uh, another one that is quite typical when we're talking about thermal radiometric is the white color so as you can see the more dark you have on the screen the more cold it is and the more white the more hot it is i like colors so that's why i use rainbow and also it looks pretty cool on the screen and now when we go inside analytics you have temperature detection shot de shock detection tempering detection and the wise ai at your service when you're using this camera temperature detection as you can see here you have just colors on the screen. When you enable the temperature detection, you will see a number appear on the right, top right corner of your screen. So right here, right now it's at 22.4 and you choose which temperature you want to showcase. So right now we're looking at the minimum temperature on the screen. You can go to the maximum or you can go on average. So depending on what you are monitoring, this is again a great tool for you to maintain a certain temperature threshold to assure everything is secured in your facility. I, again, strongly recommend going through this application. If you have any questions, comments, leave a comment below. We will gladly go through it with you and help you make this system perfect for your case. So now we saw on the live screen what's happening with the live view of the camera, but we wanted to show you some specific cases. All right, it's not an industrial installation, but you have my teapot right in front of you and you're able to see the temperature variation using the thermal radiometric camera. So you see the temperature rise really fast once the water inside the teapot is growing. And this is also true when we're looking at cooler objects. So right here you have an ice bucket, so not really much temperature variation here, but again you can maintain a certain temperature if you need something frozen for a long period of time. This is again a good application for you to use in different case studies. And finally, when we mentioned that thermal and radiometric are a great combo because you can see everything in any situation. Well, right now it is total darkness. And as you can see here, well, this is me. Even though it's a splash of colors, it's just to prove to you that in any range, any situation, you're able to have a clear image of if someone's trying to trespass on your premise, if a vehicle trying to trespass on your premise, you're able to be alerted right away because again, 
you have AI at your disposal inside the camera that will trigger an alert as soon as someone is detected or a line is crossed. If you are impressed by this solution, guys, you're in luck because Enwa has been doing this type of technological advancement in a lot of other products. If you look at our channel, we even have videos about their solid edge technology. So this is a camera that acts as a server. So you have installed your camera, it has an SSD inside so it, it can store the other cameras on your system inside one single camera. And there's much more to learn about Enwa. I suggest you go around our channel, click Enwa and look at all the videos we have here. We have a lot more to come and this is just the start. So guys, hit like and subscribe and we'll see each other on the next one.